the game that we saw just a little while ago went for a 70-yard touchdown run. I'll give you $1,000, Skimbo, if this is a handoff to a running back and it goes for a touchdown. Oh, I feel better already. Michael Vick wins it to Torrey Holtz. These are not teams that are going to run the ball a lot, right? I mean, it's Jalen Samuels against Jalen Samuels as the running backs. Exactly. You're going to see a lot of passing, man. I'm telling you, air that ball out a bunch like you're used to in old school Maddens. Look for Clef to really take what's underneath early just for a fill-out drive. And look for Henry to give it up just for a little bit, but eventually Henry's going to try to take it away. By the way, like Skimbo needs another $1,000. Down goes Michael Vick, the rush right up the middle. There is Isaiah Simmons. That's a great card that a lot of guys have found here. The rookie out of Clemson that will play for the Cardinals. Absolutely. Very fast card by Love Henry. It's not a fill-out drive. He said second drive on blitz it, second down on blitz it. everyone. He gave up a flat wide open, but the pressure got there. Michael Vick surveys on third and seven and gets lassoed before he can get to the 30-yard line. So there's a defense from Henry making the early statement here. Now, Cliff pretty much ran the same play three times in a row, and I get that, but I liked it because he did have someone open the last two tries. He just didn't find the window and didn't throw it. So, so far, a little shaky from Clef, not finding the open man because he's had him open. Mm -hmm. However, great defense by Henry. He gets the ball. Now he's up a possession. That's a huge stop very early. And Clef's Michael Vick has an agile extender, so he can get away from some blitz and corners and things like that in theory. And as the punt wobbles out of bounds, Cliff on defense, and I guess it's all about not having to defend Bo Jackson now, right? I mean, Cliff had to defend Noah's loaded up Bo Jackson in group play. Volts loaded up Bo Jackson in group play. Not going to have to do that here. No, they're not. See, these guys, they in their crews, their crews like to pass a lot. These guys have probably had thousands of bunch reps all year. So all they've seen is bunch, bunch, bunch. So this should be really good bunch defense. I'm curious to see which one prevails to score over maybe 14 points because I honestly see this being a low-scoring game. Ross, Cribs, and Holt, those are the bunch guys for both these teams. So, yeah, they're very familiar with what is being run out here. And we should mention, Skimbo, that when Clef beat Henry 14 to 10 at back at the end of January, Madden Challenge, there was some sick pass rush going on from Clef. He got three sacks out of Frank Clark, got a couple more from a, a low cap Nick Bosa. Here's Josh Allen on the move, and he'll get some yards right away. A absolutely. He beat him in the Madden Challenge, but that's draft champions. It's a completely different mode. They didn't have their playbook. They didn't have their wide receivers and all their abilities. Now they do. So now it's an even playing field. Clef, who is 1-2, by the way. Last time he played, he got blasted by Noah, 31-3. But here he is. Allen throws on the run. Torrey Holt has been such a safe target for so many players in this field and move the chains here immediately for a guy that a lot of people are rooting for in this tournament. So that's two plays in a row. Josh Allen's been able to roll out to the running back side out of the pocket, broke contained. And as I said earlier, this is a golden ticket. You know, Josh Allen, he, he can, he's got 93 speed, so he can get out of there. He's not 99 speed like a big, but he's fast. Ladles it out to Torrey Holt, and when we talked to Henry, he said, you know, I considered Michael Vick, I've used Michael Vick, but he's shorter than Josh Allen. I used Michael Vick, I kept hitting my offensive lineman in the head. That's not a problem with Josh Allen, who's got a, a little bit of wiggle to him. And I think he's going to have a great year, by the way, for the Buff Buffalo Bills. They have revamped that offensive line, got him some receivers now. Josh Allen received no scholarship offers from any NCAA Division I program. And he could be one of the better quarterbacks in the league this year. There's Ross on the cross, first down. Absolutely, but during that, you know, what you were saying, a timeout was burnt. Clef came out in the wrong defense on first down and had to burn a timeout. It's been a common theme. I still don't get it. It's the biggest term of the year, and you're quick calling your defense. It's okay because it's the first half, but just keeping track of that timeout later in this half. Henry just zips it right in there to Ross, and the Josh Allen is a good play so far. It's four out of four for 61 yards. This is easy. He's quick snapping. He's max protecting. He's got everyone open. He's rolling out. Henry is really locked in, but this is the hardest part to score. Now Allen on the move, and Allen will slide inside the five-yard line. He's got first and goal. 
again, he's just being able to roll out on that running back side. Clef's not doing a good job containing. I love the smart. I love that was smart to me by Henry by going down. Didn't want to make a hero play and go into the end zone. He could have fumbled and just ruined the drive. I love how he went down there. Most of the time, top man players are going to do that. Some people want to make highlights. Henry smart, you know. Obviously, he's going to pray he doesn't settle for three, but I love how he gave up right there. No fumble. When Clef and Henry played four months ago, there were six sacks from Clef. Oh, he'd love to get one right here. If indeed it's a drop back kind of situation, and it is. It's in the end zone diving catch. There's the touchdown. He finds Torrey Holt. Awesome job by Henry on first down. Everyone thinks a run's coming. Clef ran commit, okay? He ran commit. That means all the defenders came down. Everyone was open on the field. Henry is in a zone right now, that first drive. Clef's got it. He's got to adjust quick because this could get ugly. Henry is locked in. And the Kellen Winslow return. He'll smash his way forward to the 25-yard line. We'll take a look at the replay here, Skimbo. Well, here's the first down. Nice job with the run. I don't know if we're going to show the actual touchdown, but that's what, you know, I wanted to see because he recommended free play right here. Yeah, because there was offside, so why not just zip it into coverage and take your chances? It's going to be a first and five now coming out of that. A 7-0 lead here for Henry. But back to Henry, that's probably his first mistake. Again, I just love it. First down, you're in a run-heavy formation. Everyone thinks you're going to run the ball. He had a pass, had a quick read, touchdown, pays off. He got that seven, didn't have to settle for three. Now, that's a good job by Clef. He had a free play. He threw it in traffic, but it was free. But he really needs to lock in this drive. Mid-range throw and a fingertip catch. i got to bring this up too, Skimbo. When Clef played Noah in the Madden Challenge final, seemed like there were a lot of missed open mid-range throws in that game. That's the kind of pass he's got to get in there, and he did. Uh, that's the thing. It's just like Noah has Clef's number the last time they played. One you can say was draft champions, but the other one, it was salary cap. This is these guys' stuff. Noah was on his neck all day. Clef did look shaky in groups, and he looked shaky in his first drive. So far, this drive has looked better, but he really needs to get his stuff together. Michael Vick's pocket collapsing. And Vic throwing it out of bounds. Just a quick thought on Noah before we leave that skimbo. His last two games in this tournament, he has won them by a combined 58 to 10. His Bo Jackson had 220 yards rushing 20 seconds into the second quarter in that game we just saw. Yeah, he's an outstanding player, but so is Henry. That defense he just had. Guys, he didn't have a single zone on the right side. He manned up those receivers. He had no zone on the right side of the field. And, and Clef didn't have anyone run over there. Henry is locked in. This defense is unreal. Come here. Come on. Michael Vick getting upfield and can't quite turn the corner. And again, with Michael Vick. For Clef, it's the Agile Extender. You got Escape Artist, you got help, uh, Hot Route Master, Identifier, so piled high with abilities. Not really helping yet. It's third and ten as we get set for the second quarter. If you're wanting to be a pro player and try to defend this bunch, watch what he's doing on defense, Henry. Watch him man up the right Come side. Here. Watch him push the corner on the left. Oh. Now he's user rushing up the middle. Nothing's open. This defense is unbelievable. I'm probably going to keep talking about Henry is just locked in. Got that Ryan Shazier right up the A-gap to bring it to fourth and 18. Another punt from Clef, who's in trouble here early. And remember, Clef, so far anyway, I mean, he's allowing close to 20 points a game, and he's facing a very high-octane player in Henry. It's 19 and a half points a game allowed right now. That's the most in this Madden Bowl 20 field. <sighs> yeah. Uh, quick play out to Torrey Holt. Here we yeah. go, though. Yeah, Henry, here we go. He's going to have this offense going, this quick snap going. Clef better wake up. He doesn't want to go down 14. And I believe, Josh, you keep track of this better than I do. I think Henry gets ball at half. Am I right? He does. Yeah, you are. Of course you're right. You're skimbo. Come on. Almost 300 grand you've won in the Madden field here. I trust you entirely. Allen ladles it in. Holt makes another catch. Tory Holt, by the way, for Henry in those three games that we saw the other day. In group play, 19 catches in those three games for Henry. So that is a favorite target. 
Yeah, and that Tory Holt, that post flag elite, as he's going to come out and just try to have a waste play here. His wide receivers are tired. He doesn't want to call a timeout. He's going to let this clock go down as much as he can and just hand the ball off. I always say if you get positive yards, that's great, but normally you're not going to get any, but it's just to get his wide receivers back because we're playing a mode called salary cap where everyone's tired right now. He has no subs. He might even call a timeout with one second. That away, Tony Romo. Way to predict that thing. You know, and it's funny well, as we look at Ross and Cribs and Holt out there for both sides here, Skimbo. We're going to see later today. I mean, Bolt, Mills, we've already seen with Noah. They're, they're playing with, with 10 cap wide receivers. Not in this game, not at all. And there is Kellen Winslow, right. the tight end. He'll push and get near that first down make. Yeah, these guys got the best wide receivers in the game, but talk about other matchups, guys. We got two more games after this. I'm not going to lie. I've said it before. When I'm not in a tournament, I don't even watch the tournament, okay? But even if I wasn't commentating, these games, they're headliners. Like this game, this is an unbelievable game. Then you got the rematch with Volt and Drini. Like I would be watching these games whether I was commentating or not in the tournament. That's how big of a day of Madden I believe this is. Well, next up, you, you've got Nick on the call with T. Davis, Pavin, and Mills. That'll be fantastic. That one underneath to Winslow. He's got the first oh, down. Mills has only given oh, up 55 God. yards a game, yeah. by the way, and he's up against a very rolling Pavin right now who's basically got Clef's roster and playbook. So we're previewing that a little bit right here. Josh Allen quickly. And all of a sudden, Kellen Winslow is the hot choice as we get down to 220 left in this second quarter. Golly, Henry, or Clef's got to find something to slow down this offense because Henry's just locked in. Again, finding Torrey Holt, the seven-time Pro Bowler who retired with the 10th most receiving yards in NFL history. And the pace, you got to like the pace here, right? I mean, Henry just going rat-a-tat. More from Josh Allen, but down he goes. Clef needed that in a big way. We talked about it when he beat Henry four months ago. It was a lot of blitzing, a lot of sacks and big moments, and finally he got home. But this is where I want to see how veteran Henry can be. Right now, he needs to take this clock with him. Clef has no timeout. So if no one's open, don't be afraid to step up and take a sack. You know, you don't want to throw the ball away and give Clef time. Ooh, that's almost a pick right there. If he would have gotten the, the feet down, Ed Reed, would have been our highlight going in a half. He, he, was, he was very loose right there. Like I said, you get ball at half, you can go up two possessions. I just, he needs to just get a play. He doesn't need to throw it away. Come on, get the block. Josh Thank Allen, you. how Come about on. this? Oh, a third and 19, oh, and Clef can't good. believe he gave that's it up. Interesting. That's interesting. That's huge because it looked like he was going to not get it because it's Josh Allen. Like I said, though, he has 93 speed. He's not big speed, but he can get there, and his wide receivers block down the field. That's huge. He can take this into half with a 10-point lead if he just wants to run the ball. However, Henry, you've seen how he plays. You know, he's a gambler. He's going to go for seven, okay? He's not settled with three. Me, I actually might run the ball every time and just pray I might pop off a touchdown. Henry is looking for seven. He does not need to throw a pick. Henry is such a deep dive tactician too. We asked him, why not Mahomes? So, you know, if you're going to have that kind of quarterback, he said Allen is faster by just a little bit. And maybe that just a little bit faster than Mahomes in Madden play got him that first down. And to your point, Skimbo, he's able to take that clock under a minute. Uh, yes, and great call, Josh. You're absolutely right. If, it, if he's a little faster, you have to take the faster guy if you like what they provide. Not a bad sack. Yes, he got in. Look for a really safe play call here on third down. He's going to want to definitely now kick this field goal. Low scoring first half as it turns out. Only Torrey Holt has been in the end zone. Can Josh Allen get there? Nudge out of bounds near the pylon. He's at the one-yard line. Oh, my goodness. He... I, I'm just trying to figure out what Henry's going to do. I know what I'm doing. I'm kicking a field goal. There's only 20 seconds, so Clef pretty much has one play. And you know, you have all this momentum. You don't. You're dominating Clef. If you go for this and you don't get it, you're giving Clef momentum going into half. Right now, Clef has no momentum. You're giving him a chance right now to gain momentum going to second half. Wow, needing one yard here. 
20 seconds left in the half. He doesn't want the three. He he's wants trying to seven. put him away. And now he's going to think about it. Oh. He, oh, my goodness. He was trying to put him away. But what I used to do in that situation, knowing that, I would be trying to, you know, use that R1 feature, the hard count. Because say if you get cleft user offsides, it's a first down. You would see that in the NFL, too. Guys would go up there, hard count. They jump. They would get that inches and get a first down. Surprise Henry didn't do that and try to get a hard count. Doesn't work a lot, but I think it was worth the shot to try to get cleft user across the line scrimmage. However, at the end of the day, I love that he took three. Yeah, that, that's all he was going to do. So you're going to take that 10 nothing lead to the half. And again, you're, you're going to get the ball coming out here, too. So Clef, who won 14 to 10 against Henry most recently, He's going to need to find those missing 14 right now. Again, Henry's got 10. But Henry's oh, got that momentum man, for man. sure. Oh, Interesting man. first half, and Clef just has to get out of the quicksand here. He does. I mean, he's got he's to gotta lock in because right now he is bad on both sides of the ball. Young Henry just turned to 17 years old. And again, we're, we're saying he's that rookie of the year smell on him right now, right? He was born in, uh, well, it, it, I guess that would be 03, so uh, he'd be the Anquan Bolden uh, of that particular time. Hey, be sure to look in the Ultimate Team menu for the competitive tab. Check out the new Madden Bowl-themed game day program. You can get Madden pro players as coaches, including Henry and Mills and Young Kiv and Clef and the defending Madden Bowl champion. Also available, new MCS uniforms, other exclusive MUD content. We look forward to having you as a part of this, and we're so happy to have you watching this one between Henry and Clef. It's game two out of four today. A battle of guys who are way up there in best all-time win percentage. Skimble, you're only at 76.4? <laughs> Henry's ahead of you, Clef's ahead of you. Hey, man, I took some L's this year. That's what happens. You take L's, you're going to drop, baby. So I definitely <laughs> took me some L's this year, but I'm looking forward to next year. However, these two goons right here, they're top five. I mean, there's a reason why. These guys are great Madden players. Now, the pilot light is almost out here for Clef the God. This is a huge defensive series he's got to come up with. If Henry scores a touchdown here, it's going to be really, really tough to come all the way back. Josh Allen goes down, needed that. Clef the God, a big stand right away, got the Jerome Baker in there. I love what Henry was doing. He was taking checkdowns, blah, 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 blah. That time he had every route on the field over 15 yards, took a sack. This is the thing about passers. Clef just needs to get one pick, one something, because the game can turn around so quick. A lot of safe throws underneath to Kellen Winslow. Josh Allen, by the way, for Henry, is 12 out of 13. But because he was taking those safe throws. However, Clef's going to give that up. He's going to give that short underneath again on third and 14. Because like I said, Henry, the last thing he want to do is, go, is be greedy and throw a pick and give Clef, like, you know, field goal range. He might take a shot here, though, and count it as a punt. You never know. The crossing route, Torrey Holt is right at those chains. On a third and 14, he delivers. Wow. This is where I want to see Henry grow up and mature, okay? So he has the lead. He has ball. Oh, you have shit. a two clock already built in. So he's going to milk without even trying to milk. I really want to see him take what's underneath. As I believe he's, he put his controller down. Now he picked it back up. I want to see him take this clock and take what's there. I don't want him to get greedy like he did on the first down. He really This, this is a drive right here that wins you the game. I know it's the third down, but this can be a drive that wins you a game. Now, again, we have to remind everybody, normally if you milk the clock, that means you've got the strong running back, and neither of these players has that. I mean, we're talking Jalen Samuels, and who else has he got out there? I mean, James Devlin could run the ball. This is a throwing no guy names. in Henry. That's what he does. It's, it's just a bunch of no names that are guys just out there wasting space is what it is, while you have these three goon wide receivers. Allen getting pursued and gets dragged down. There was Tracy Porter making a play. Okay, so now you've got another third down. Can you finally get a third down stop if you're Clef? You can. I feel like he's going to bring heat. He's going to get real greedy with the user. This is where Henry likes to think backwards, as I call it, and maybe take a shot over the top because Clef's desperate on defense. I see him just blitzing everyone. Allen rollouts and dump offs to Kellen Winslow have kind of been the the play so far, but let's see what we've got. Allen 
looking. Let's go! Gunning it in the coverage, and it's picked! It's Let's Porter! Go, man. And Tracy oh, Porter gosh, for Clef the God. Come on, Clef, I promise on, you, Clef was blitzing everyone. And then Henry flipped the play. Clef reset his defense, so he only rushed three, and everyone in coverage bagged every route on the field for Henry. Huge pick and momentum. Ooh. It's funny because Henry's Tracy Porter had a big pick against Rage earlier in this tournament. And that was a, a game that really could have gone either way. And Porter made a play for Henry. Now it's against him. And Clef has his shot. We are still not into the fourth quarter. It's only a 10 point game. Michael Vick has time. He finds Winslow who swerves forward. And the first down make for Clef the God. I love it. It's the new feature in Madden that tied in delay. He's blocking, he's blocking. You can release it and throw it to him. That's exactly what I did there. This is early, guys. You don't have to rush and get a touchdown right now. He can take this drive. It can be a long drive. He's got to get seven, though. Oh, nice move by Torrey Holt for another first down. And Clef, who's been matched up against the teenaged sensations back to back. He lost to Noah 31 to 3. He's down to Henry 10 to nothing. You're losing to teenagers here, Skimbo, by a combined 41 to 3, your last two games. But if you're Clef, you know you still have a, a big time shot in this one. This, but but right here, this and it hasn't happened yet, but vintage Clef is about to pop in because this guy knows how to fight. He knows how to scratch, claw, and come back, and he's looking to get a touchdown right here. Not only that, user picked Henry. So the kiss of death is in the air. Oh Michael God. Vick trying to go to the air. What happened come there? Come on, come on, come uh, on. Well, he tried. Okay, so he stepped up and actually stepped into his lineman. He had a guy maybe getting open. Henry thinks he could have clicked on and picked it. Clef thinks he could have clicked on and cut in front. I would have loved to see that play play out because both of them felt like they had each other on that play. At the 24-yard line, getting very close to the final quarter now. This is the game we all were looking so forward to. Vic charging up the middle, and everything closes on him. Again, Isaiah Simmons is a big guy to have if you're playing in this tournament. Huge, huge sack. Clef's just got to be safe. Now a three is okay. All right, Clef. You're still within 10. It can still happen for you, bud. But the 17-year-old Henry on top by 10. A clip will hydrate and get ready for the final five minutes. The fourth quarter presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh, no, no, don't pressure me. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. zero. Try this Creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and Creamy Snickers. Winner of this one looking at Little Man. Speaking of zero, zero losses for Little Man in this tournament so far. The only undefeated player. We'll have a big day of Madden tomorrow. Michael Pick getting set in the pocket. Dangerous pass. Wow. <laughs> it's good. still fourth and two here, Skimbo. Gotta, is he going to go for it fourth and two? He needs points. It, it. He's going to kick it. He's going to kick it quick, as you see there. But like I said, this is different from New Year's Madden. He came out with 40 seconds on the play clock, and by the time he kicked, it was 23. It just warped on him. You know, that is that is just a chew clock on its own. In old Madden's, it would have took five to six seconds. It, it, I'm telling you, Josh, playing this much Madden, every second counts. And that's huge that, you know, he kicked it quick, but it took 17 seconds to get it off. There's Henry, who beat Rage, beat Wesley. Lost to Decroft on the walk-off kick return. Now he's trying to hold off Clef and gain a measure of revenge from what happened in the Madden Challenge back at the end of January. Josh Allen has been very efficient in this game. Again, the dump off to Winslow, and it looked like this time he had the defense ready for it at second and eight. Well, that's the thing about this year. There wasn't a zone over there except the deep blue, which means he's going to run back and not get bombed. He threw a flat and only got two yards, okay? So look for Henry really to keep trying this because, the, like I say, the last thing you want to do is get greedy and throw a pick here. He's going to really try to take what's there. Allen back. Allen looking. Come on. And the big guy firing. He's got Joshua Crimson open. 
Wow, all the way past midfield to the 36-yard line. We're down to 3.55 to go. Great pocket, great job. I feel I always criticize these guys. He, I, I was like saying in my head, if I'm Henry, go down, go down. You look at him, he actually said I tried to go down and stay in bounds, so the, the clock stopped now, which helps Clef. However, great job by Henry. His linemen blocked, and they held their block. He gave, they gave him all day, and he found the open post route going over the top. If he doesn't take a sack, he's in field goal range. And there's the sack to drag him out of field goal range. There's that low cap Nick Bosa making plays yet again. Josh, you know what? I'm proud of you, man. You're not bad. You're not bad. I was about to say the same thing. The last thing you need to do is take a sack, and he took a sack. He's got to get at least three to four yards to make sure he's in field goal range, because right now, he is not. Come on. More pressure. This oh one looked God. like it was up for grabs, oh. and it whistles through the hands of Ross out of bounds. It stops the clock, which is key as well. Well, in years past, that will route, you could throw it right away. Now, you really don't know when to throw it. They never told us, because this might be if it takes 20 yards, 15 yards. You don't know. He waited about 20 yards, and it still got air melt. You hate to see it, but if you're cleft, you love it. Go, man. Can't take the sack, he takes the sack. If he just would have gained five yards, right, you're in field goal range, you take that three, you're up 13 to three with three minutes left, but now there's none of that. Uh, yeah, I mean, he had the tight end wide open on an out route for three yards. There wasn't anything over there. It went and gave him field goal range. He just missed the read, which is easy for me to say because I'm not playing trying to make these reads. <laughs> However, he took the sack, and now this is Clef. This is his money drive. If you're a Clef guy, you're really rooting for him right now because he has a chance to beat Vintage, as my, R my boy RG used to say. This is a drive that can make you a legend in Madden. It really can. This is the drive people will remember. Remember, you got to get into overtime. Henry had the ram he didn't want on the field. It was Hecker instead of Ficken. He would have loved to have had the kicker instead of the punter out there. Would have loved to have gotten that punt to, say, the one-yard line or the five. Instead, the 20. But now, let's call it the 15 as a sack. That's a biggie here with 2.10 to go. Huge sack. Let's see if he tries to get this off before the two-minute warning, and he does. Underneath, but he's still got miles to go here as we get inside that two-minute warning. This is obviously four-down territory. He's got two chances to get eight yards. Yep, exactly. He's got to convert. Oh. Well, there you go. There's about 12 yards right there. So will this be, as Skimbo said, the money drive? Will this be the one that we all point to? If Clef can run the table from here and belt up in a couple days, we'll circle this moment right here when he came back on young Henry. Michael Vick throws on the Torrey. run. And the toe drag by Torrey Holt. Oh my goodness, just great pocket. Stood in there for a long time, then finally the pocket collapsed and he rolls out. The corner route gets over the cloud, separates from the man, great job. His wide receivers are probably getting tired. He needs to take his time after this play. God, Zips it in, there is a Dot to Torrey Holt. Michael Vick, 9 of 11. Very efficient oh, here gosh. for Clef the God. No picks, no sacks. Keep marching if you're Clef. So far, it's just that clutch sheet as he's going to quick snap him again and try to catch him off Come guard. Come on. Didn't work. There's Come the out. sack. And a timeout taken here with 44 seconds to go. As I said, even though he hasn't got it in, man, this is the best drive he's looked on offense, and it's just that clutch ability. You've been, he's been not good on offense all day. However, when your tournament life is on the line, he's making the best reads he's made all day. Clef hasn't had a touchdown in two games. Needs one now. Michael Vick throws on the run for Chris. Oh my gosh! It's bobbled and it's knocked away! Oh my gosh! He was on a crossing route. I hate to say it. He, if he would have had that across the ability, he would have caught it. However, he caught it. The defender got there before he really could secure it, and he drops it. Oh my goodness! That's such a gutsy throw, and it almost paid off. Back to back three point games here for Clef, threatening to knock him out of oh, this tournament. And he almost had his six on the way break. to seven right there. Now what Such does he go back break. to? Break. He's going to the same exact play. Sa same exact concept, same exact play. 
Underneath, Torrey Holt gets tackled. Fourth down in the ball game right here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. If we were at a live event, I'd be standing up right now. Oh, my God. Fourth <laughs> and seven. Your tournament life's on the line. This is huge. I don't I don't know what route concept he's going to call. He's got to get this first down. Needing seven yards in pursuit is Clef the God trying to gain some revenge here against Henry. Samuel staying in Let's the block. On. There it is in the coverage. He got it in there with 26 seconds to go. Oh my gosh, what a heart read. You, Henry brought the user blitz. He got home. He didn't get blocked. He snapped throw it. You have no choice. You can't take a sack. He just throws it and squeezes it in there. Now you cannot take a sack if you're Clef. That clock is not your friend. You have no timeouts. Seven yard line. Where's he gonna go? Number seven. Yeah. Is it. He is oh, a cross. Oh, oh, the touchdown yes, for Clef the God. His oh, first touchdown in two games. It came with seconds left in his Madden life. I'm telling you, Josh, some people, I don't know, he's not gonna go for two, okay. But some people just have this clutch ability, this clutch gene. I've talked about it. You can have Kobe, Michael Jordan, LeBron, they can go 0 for 15 all game. That fourth quarter, they got something special in them, okay? Clef has something special in him. He's looked terrible, I'll just say it, terrible, terrible all day. His guap drive, his money drive, it's just he got something in him and he just dots up. Clef needed 80 yards in 220. He didn't need the 20, as it turned out. Michael Vick is our Snickers replay shows you got it in there, but Let's go, what can Jerome. Henry do? Oh my God! Oh, yeah. He locked him! He locked him! Jerome, Baker. Him. Jerome Baker! He swiveled to the 10, walked off again. Heartbreak for Henry. Amazing! What? He locked him, Josh. Henry tried to quick snap a streak. Clef left oh all responsibility and ran time, with it and lurked him. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you, oh that is just gosh, clutch just gene by Clef. Oh, you, it's what we talk about, it's what user Mo, everyone always says community, this guy's special. He's just shown it. My heart goes out to Henry too, because he's special, but oh my goodness, Clef clutching up. In the role of Raheem Mostert, it's Jerome Baker. As Henry, back-to-back -back games, gets essentially walked off by a player you never would have thought of. Still 10 seconds to go here. As we take a look at the oh replay, goodness. and you know, still an opportunity to make a play here, but Samuels ran right by him. It's just, Henry, it's not looking good for Henry. He's gonna try to throw this corner route. And he gets it, and he's out of bounds. Okay, so he's gonna have one shot, maybe two if he throws an hour. However, Henry has outplayed Clef literally all game. All game. I thought Henry was about to blow him out after the first half, but it's been all Clef in the second half. 51 yards or go home here for Henry. This is it. Here and we Allen go. Throws on the run. This is the ball game. It is out of the back of the end zone. Clef the God has advanced in a most unlikely way. Uh, I just, it's everything we talked about, that heart, that fight. You see the emotion finally pouring out from him. He kept it in, he kept it in. It all, it's all pouring out, guys. That's that emotion we're talking about. Look at him, he is pumped. It is a clean sweep for Group C here. And Noah, remember, started one and two in a group setting not too long ago. And he ended up winning a belt. What a finish. Clef the God by seven points over Henry. Back to the desk we go. Here is Evan.